Hello again, Andy with HandyAndyHome.com. Handy, Andy, Handy Man. You can catch us at 770-912-2829. Been out here in Atlanta a long time, and we got a call today to look at a little project over in the Woodstock area. You can see what's happened here. They've got nice, brand new six inch gutters, and they're screwed in there. But unfortunately, whoever installed them, installed them against rotted fascia board. So over time, the weight of the, the gutter and the water and the gutter helmet they got on there pulled the whole thing away from the house. So we'll have to replace about six to eight feet of fascia board under there, pop those gutter covers, and then uh, reinstall the gutters with screws. And we'll probably have to add some screws to the new fascia board just to take that weight. Uh, it pulled loose at the end, not just because it was rotted, but all the water's coming down to this downspout. So they've got great gutters, six inch gutters with three by four downspouts, aluminum. It's about the best you can get a house this size. He's got a couple other little things that we're looking at. This is a cedar house that somebody painted, and you can paint cedar, but you're gonna have to prime it with a really, really good uh, two coat to latex or an oil-based primer. With the oil-based primer, you run the, the risk of it blistering over time, and it, it's got some of that on the back of the house. Uh, this side looks like it was repainted more recently than the rest. But the squirrels got into these holes right here, and uh, cedar, customers get talked into changing their cedar siding out all the time, and the only thing you gotta worry about is where you've got knots, the squirrels, the birds will start pecking, and then the squirrels come to, to get in there. And people don't believe it, but the squirrels can actually sink their claws in the side of the cedar and climb right in and out of those holes. So most people think those are woodpecker holes, but chances are at this point that they're squirrels. Uh, so, but to fix it, we can't just patch that piece. It's actually into the second row too. So we'll come across about six feet on the top and eight feet on the bottom to stagger the joints, and then it'll be back primed in white to, to match this. The other couple things that he may want to consider while we're here is these two noses, or rather, uh, bottom brick molds on the bottom of these two windows are both rotted through. And as soon as you see this kind of wrinkling in the wood, both here and over here, you can tell that it's rotted out and it's not doing him any good because what will happen is the water now is getting back behind the siding and you don't want that. Cedar is such a great siding. Um, the problem with this house is that it's cedar and it'll hold up to almost anything, but you still got to caulk it and you can see all the open pieces here so over time what this homeowner will want to do is go ahead and take one side at a time each time he gets his check uh, for tax refund or something come have us or somebody do a side of this caulk it all up nice with a uh, premium latex caulk you can see they replaced this door jam at some point not too terribly long ago uh, and they never caulked it so all the water's getting behind and what's happened here is you can see on this entry door the frame and the molding here are rotted and need to be repaired and the left side of the frame on this door is rotted out as well we talk about uh, plastic and poly a lot of times why we don't use it this used to be white and it's turned yellow over time and age UV rays um, you see a few things on this house that we find on a lot of houses we're not gonna fix these things right now but whoever installed this door see how they flashed it they just put a strip of wood above it to fill the gap against the cedar it should be metal flashing and it should extend out to where my finger is so now the water's all getting right through here and over time it'll rot it out the repairs that we make we back prime everything and seal it all up nice uh, so it'll never rot again. If it does, you call us, come out and fix it for free. We've never had to do that in all the years we've been here. Normally you'll see me run around in that little truck right there. I'm a fourth generation contractor. My brother and I started this company 25 years ago. Do a little bit of everything. You can reach us at 770-912-2829. I'm Andy. We'll see you at the next house. Bye for now.